Well, hello there everyone. Um, I hope this finds you well. Andy Spoons here and today I am doing something interesting that I haven't done before. This is going to be a new one for me. I was just helping a gentleman move a wardrobe down the street and he was very kind enough to let me pick through some of his tools and this stuck out to me. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to learn a little bit about um, this style of spoke shave um, and obviously I wanted to put a really keen edge on it so I will be using the Tormac SG200 uh, along with the SJ200 so the um, standard grindstone with the Japanese waterstone as well um, I'll be finishing it on the strop and uh, let's see how things turn out okay so I've just done a really really quick google search on the history of this spoke shave. Um, if this isn't something that you're super interested in, um, I'll put a timestamp, you can skip to the, the sharpening side of things. But basically, this is, it's a Robert Marples tool. Robert Marples um, and Sun Limited is the company name. Um, it's in Sheffield, England. So I'm hoping that that means that it was old style Sheffield steel, which is um, famously really well made. But the company itself started in 1828 and was taken off the register of companies in 1935. So that means that this tool, even if it was at the very, very back end of the production, it's still almost 100 years old, which to me is so, so exciting. That's really cool to have this old tool um, come into my possession and know that I should be able to bring it back to you know, a working order and give it some more life. And we'll see if the pegs and everything are still up to scratch. Um, but it's just a really, it's a really cool piece of history to be able to have in my collection of tools. So I'm really excited to get this up and running. Okay. Okay, so the sharpening process is all done. Um, there is still a little bit of pitting right on this top edge, but again, like I said earlier, I don't want to take too much more steel away from this. Um, so it's razor sharp. I've taken it up to 4,000 grit on the, um, the SJ200. So this is how it's going to stay, which I love. Um, and let's see how it performs.
So thank you all so much for watching. Um, I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. It was quite literally the first time that I had ever used a spoke shave. Uh, that video just before, um, when I was taking those first cuts, that was the first time that I'd ever used this tool. Um, I'm blown away with the kind of consistency of the cuts and things like that. It's it's a really interesting tool and it's extra special to have something with, with such a, a deep history and to have a tool that's you know, potentially well over a hundred years old. I think that's really special to have. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you like what you see and you want to see more, please consider subscribing. Um, consider liking the uh, the videos that you that you see. And also, if there are some specific things that you want to see more of, um, please let me know in the comments below, and I would love to get to them. But thank you so much for watching again, and I hope this finds you well.